what's up welcome back so today's video was actually going to be on this makeup tutorial I'm wearing right here this is a total fall inspired makeup tutorial I used MAC Cosmetics brown blue or blue brown blue brown pigment in this makeup tutorial so I actually really like the way that this turned out it's actually a collaboration video with my friend Ashley here on YouTube I'll make sure to link all her information down below this isn't the first collab we've done we recently did one but that was with another girl and this one's just with us so a little bit more personal between our channels so like I said I'll definitely make sure to leave all of Ashley's information linked down below make sure you go check out her channel you guys she is so 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 amazing and she puts out such good videos and she's so sweet she's so kind she's just an amazing friend and if you're watching this Ashley I love you so much and if you're from Ashley's channel welcome and please subscribe and stay a little bit longer if you guys are interested in seeing this fall inspired makeup tutorial then please keep watching I actually already moisturized and primed my face with these two products. I use the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel and the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. And to start this look, I'm just taking Max Painterly Paint Pot. I'm using this as my eyeshadow base. This is just going to help make sure all the eyeshadows stick. And then to set it, I'm using NYX HD Powder and Banana. This is going to help make sure all these shadows don't slip and slide or look creasy at all. And for the transition shade, I'm actually going into my Urban Decay Naked Basic Palette. I'm taking WOS and Naked 2. You can apply it however you want. You can do it sloppily if you want. It doesn't matter because we will be going in with colors later on. They're going to help blend everything. So to warm up the crease, I'm taking Bobbi Brown's Camel Shadow. You can take any mustard color shadow you have. I know Makeup Geek makes one, and I know that MAC makes uninterrupted or made uninterrupted. And then for my base for the blue-brown pigment, I'm taking Inglot AMC Gel Liner in 77. Using this black liner really pulled the blue tones in this pigment, which I personally really liked. I thought it looked really pretty with the blue tones, especially for a transitioning fall tutorial. I feel like blue is still somewhat summer, but since I used the blue-brown pigment, the blue in this pigment is a little bit darker and it does have those brown aspects. So I think it's just perfect for a transitioning fall makeup tutorial. To apply the blue-brown pigment, I'm taking a flat synthetic shader brush. I feel like using a gel liner is creamy as the Inglot one is and a pigment seriously was a match made in heaven the two of these just went so perfect i had no fallout whatsoever maybe like a tiny little speck but nothing like i'm used to so i'm just applying that on both of my lids and it doesn't matter how you apply this because we are going to be going in and blending and adding more so just keep that in mind it doesn't always have to be for perfect perfect doesn't have to be perfect the first time around Going back into the Naked Basics palette, I'm actually going to be taking the last two shades, which are Faint and Crave. I'm using these two to help deepen out the outer V of this look and transition into the crease. When I went back and looked at this footage, I wish that I would have put more of the color Crave into my outer V, but I didn't, so yeah. I wish I would have done that because it would have made the look a little bit more smokier, and I love my smoky looks. So I'm just taking Camel again and to blend everything out. For my liner, I'm winging it out. I've been loving a nice wing lately and I'm using NYC's Black Liquid Eyeliner. I don't know where you can buy this anymore because my CVS, Walgreens, and Rite Aid stopped carrying NYC so that's annoying. But I love this stuff. I know I've never done a winged eyeliner tutorial but just kind of watch and you'll get the idea of it. I don't show you guys but I do go in with concealer and clean up the wing. It just makes all the lines and everything much more crisp and even if you use a concealer to clean up. Foundation today is Estee Lauder's Double Wear. This stuff covers like a gem. I love Double Wear foundation and I love applying it with a beauty blender because even though this foundation is very thick and heavy, a beauty blender is going to help sheer it out and just make it look 
abs look I can't speak it's gonna make it look just absolutely flawless and then for my concealer I'm taking the NARS radiant creamy concealer in the color Chantilly one OMG that was a mouthful but seriously this concealer is just amazing you guys I think it covers really well I know some people complain about how thick it is but the thickness and consistency of this concealer seriously it does not bother me whatsoever I just love it so much and then if you think this is too much concealing and highlighting do you you don't have to do it this much So to set my concealer that I just applied, I'm taking the NYX Banana Powder once again and just applying this to the places where I put my concealer. I think this stuff is amazing for setting concealer. For my bronzer, I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and applying this to places where I would obviously bronze. So my cheeks, the sides of my jawline, kind of down my neck, my temples. For blush, I'm taking Max Warm Soul. I love this blush. It's my all-time favorite blush, and I think it just complements any single look. For highlight, I'm taking Max Soft and Gentle. This highlight is stunning. I haven't pulled it out for a hot minute, and I'm so happy I used it in this look because I love it. I re-fell in love with it. I kind of go on binges with highlighters where I love them, and then I never use them, and then I love them, and then I never use them. And right now, I'm loving it. For the lower lash line, I'm pretty much mimicking what I did on the upper one. So first, I'm taking the shade Naked 2 and applying that with a flat definer. And then I'm going in with Faint and then Crave on top of it and blending it out. The only difference on the lower lash line versus the upper crease area is I didn't use Camel. For my liner, I'm using the Larger Than Life Via Veneto by NARS. I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it, but NARS always has the most complicated names, but that's what I'm using for my black eyeliner. This stuff is really black and I just really enjoy it. Lashes are the Allure's 126s and my lips are lined with Max Whirl and filled in with Kat Von D's Vampira. I think Vampira is obviously perfect for fall. It's such a gorgeous fall time vampy shade and that is actually it for this tutorial you guys i really hope you enjoyed it like i said don't forget to check out ashley's channel i know you guys will love her she's amazing so gorgeous so sweet and everything like always please make sure you like subscribe comment and share this video and i will see you guys in my next video on wednesday i love you guys so much bye guys yeah.